On the 1st of December 1919, Lady Nancy Astor became the first elected female Member of Parliament to take her seat in the House of Commons. Welcome to History Pod. The Representation of the People Act in 1918 granted voting rights to women over 30 who met a property qualification. Constance Markovic, a member of Sinn Féin, was subsequently elected to Parliament in the general election of December that year, but she refused to take her seat in line with party policy. The following year, Lady Nancy Astor chose to contest the by-election for Plymouth Sutton, a parliamentary seat that had been vacated by her husband after he succeeded to his father's peerage as Viscount Astor in the House of Lords. After a short campaign, in which she won the election with 51.9% of the vote, she entered the House of Commons on the 1st of December as a Unionist or Tory Member of Parliament. After being sworn in after taking an oath of allegiance to the Crown, her entrance to the chamber consequently marks her as the first British female MP to take her seat. Lady Astor's arrival was met with a mixture of curiosity and scepticism, and she faced considerable challenges as the lone woman amongst male colleagues. Nevertheless, her presence laid the groundwork for future generations of women in British politics, though, as more women were elected as MPs, she didn't seek to gain higher positions within the party so that she was able to more freely speak her mind. Consequently, Astor tackled issues such as child welfare, temperance and women's rights, although she was also an anti-Catholic and anti-communist and was broadly criticised for her anti-Semitism and sympathetic view of the Nazis. Lady Astor retired from the Commons in 1945 and didn't contest her seat in the next general election. She has continued to be criticised for her views on race and religion, but her tenure in the House of Commons nevertheless set a precedent and paved the way for female involvement in British politics.